My name's Christian Duncan and I'm a craniofacial surgeon uh, by background a plastic surgeon and I work at the uh, craniofacial unit at Liverpool Children's Hospital at Alderhey. It's one of the four nationally designated craniofacial units for looking after people with skull abnormalities um, according to which they have a prematurely fused skull suture. What I'm going to do now is show or give some kind of demonstration of how we operate on these skulls and this is the example I'm going to use to turn this into something a bit more like this. It's the skeleton of the skeleton of the correct structure, and bearing in mind the symmetries within, within, within which we're working, we flattened out the forehead. We've lowered the forehead a little bit. We've got a structure which is high at the back and dropping a bit to the front, uh, and we have a structure that is wide at the back and then narrows to the front. Uh, but to a flat structure rather than a triangular structure, and that's what gives the, uh, cosmetic, that gives the cosmetic normalization of the forehead. And because with these skulls there's a growth anomaly whereby this suture is not metabolically active and therefore forward growth is not taking place um, when it should be doing, that has a domino effect in that it impacts growth on all of the related structures uh, going further away from the suture, such that the whole forehead is a little bit further backwards as well, as well as being abnormally shaped. And that's the other reason that we do the advancement. So everything's been advanced, hopefully, into the correct position. Um, of course, even today, we don't actually know that. And that's what the Headspace project is all about, is to give us a design template of normal shaped skulls to know what we're aiming at, so that we can actually work out whether this is actually the right thing to be doing, whether we're advancing enough, whether we should be overcorrecting, whether the operation that we do is cosmetically stable in the long term and gives rise to adults with normal shaped foreheads and in what percentage of cases it does do that, so, and so on and so forth. So it's a, you know, the Headspace project is all about assisting us in, uh, in, designing, in, in designing and measuring the outcomes of surgery.